Sports. It's in the game. Welcome to this presentation of NBA Basketball, brought to you by ESPN on EA Sports. I'm your host, Jalen Rose. The New Orleans Pelicans have extra motivation for a win today after their loss earlier this season against the New York Knicks. We send it now to Mike Green and Jeff Van Gundy with the call. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Green. Joining alongside me, as always, is Jeff Van Gundy. And here we have tonight's starting lineups. All right, Jeff, as we get things started, who on the Knicks do you think they need to keep an eye out for here tonight? Hey, make no mistake. They have a lot of good players on this team, but it starts with Jeremy Lin. How are you going to keep him out of the paint? You've got to attack him in the backcourt, turn him defensively and then trap him when you have chances either off the pick and roll or on penetration you've got to make him pass the ball off the dribble he's too good a finisher in the paint to Evans off balance still gets it off the two pointer won't go Smith Gets to the rim and lays it home. This isn't like the YMCA layup line. This is like real life. As you go in to try to finish, defense is coming over. This is spontaneous. The ability to adjust, contort, and still finish is a special, special gift. Holiday jump shot. Won't go. This is his first field goal attempt of the night. To Anthony. Lynn. Shot is blocked. Evans puts it out. Off target. We've seen Carmelo Anthony develop over the years. Last year, he was a legitimate MVP candidate. Where does he need to take his game this year to help take his team to the next step? Well, I liked what Mike. Woodson did last year, playing him predominantly at the power forward position, surrounding him. Score the goal and one. You earned it. Take the hit, take the blow, finish the play. O'Neal the rebound. Whoops, that won't go. To Anthony. They work it around the perimeter. Smith against Gordon. Wide open for three. Smith's unable to hit from downtown. The better you screen, the more open you will be. Here, solid screen leads to a wide open jump shot. Unfortunately, a missed opportunity. Nice pass. It's blocked. Out of bounds, turnover. For three, off the catch and shoot. No good from downtown. To Lynn. Inside, gets it to drop. That's really good body control and a great finish in the paint. won't go Jeremy Lin with the ball now bringing it up oh, oh, oh. 
O'Neal. In the paint, takes it to the rim and misses. No paint game, no winning. You've got to get the ball at the basket, and then you've got to finish when you get it there. Holiday. Jumper won't go. Anthony moves into the front court. Lynn against Holiday. To Anthony for the layup. Flips it home on a beautiful pass from J.R. Smith. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good layup. Gordon. For two on the fadeaway. Anthony the rebound. To Lynn. For two. Off the mark. Evans jump shot. Miss fires. Stolen by Holiday. Gordon. Big finish at the rim. Oh, that's a sweet finish right there. Dunking the ball with strength and force. To the rim. Flips that one in. That's just a nice layup right there. Gordon. Holiday. Good setup with the entry pass. Can't get it to fall. Tremendous job making it difficult to get to the basket. O'Neal with no room. He gets up the hook shot. To Gordon. Holiday. At the rim. O'Neal the rebound. Hey, that's great defense right there. Good contest, good finish of their defense. To the rim, two points on the layup. Nice entry pass from J.R. Smith. Some people overcomplicate these finishes in the lane. Here he didn't. He did enough to get by the shot blocker and then not too much to make himself miss. Changes on the court right now from both teams. Jeremy Lin with the ball in possession. Oh, what a great dunk. A look at the athleticism exploding up to finish with the hammer. Anderson. Nice fake. You need guys who can make shots under duress and pressure. That was a well-defended possession, but that man stuck it even against the best defense. To Smith. Terrific rejection. Gordon. Holiday. To Anderson. To the rim. And scores. Great concentration and finish on that layup. Beautiful, beautiful play. To Anthony. Tries to adjust the shot. And New Orleans is called for the foul. Their first team foul. And he'll head to the line to shoot two. A good offense is about getting the ball in your best players' hands in their best spots. And then all the great offensive players have a knack for drawing fouls. 
This great free throw shooter has earned his way to the charity stripe, and that's smart basketball. To Gordon. He got a piece of it. Anderson fires away. His jump shot won't go. Throws it down. Home or away. That'll excite NBA fans. The dunk. To Smith. To Anthony. Smith. Holiday bringing it up. Final seconds. Stoudemire the rebound. And there's the buzzer. First quarter comes to an end. The Pelicans down by four. We'll be right back with more Wednesday night basketball here on ESPN after the break. Second quarter is set to begin. This one a close one. This is exactly what we expected to evenly match teams. This has just been a well-played first quarter. I just really like what I'm seeing by both teams. Goes to the goal. Oh, that's a pretty finish on a beautiful pass from Raymond Felton. No degree of difficulty right there. Simple basketball, good result. To the basket, flips it up, shot won't go. Gets it off, that's a two-pointer, it's good. New Orleans down by four. Keep pushing the pace in transition, even in a close game. Get the ball in your best decision maker's hands and let him do what he does best. Put the ball in the hands of your playmaker. He rewarded the runner and another good transition opportunity converted. Not able to hit. Tomorrow. To Anderson. Puts it up and lays it in nicely. Scoring in the paint is not for the faint of heart. You've got to expect to get hit and hit often. He is, he's not whining and complaining. He is just getting the basket right at the rim. The Pelicans back on offense. To Anderson. Off balance, still fires away. Shot won't go. Defend, defend, defend. Never give in. Good contest, good closeout. This is the type of defense that they must play. And they come up with a turnover. To Anderson. To the basket, flips it up, and rolls in off the rim. Oh, nice rejection by Anderson. Out of bounds. Coach, think it's time for a change. You're going to have some substitutions right now. Felton into the front court. Passes it right back. O'Neal's turned away. What a block to Anthony. Shot clock with seven seconds left. Stoudemire, jump shot. Nice pass inside to the basket. That's a big time shot right there. Drew Holiday with it, taking it up. Anderson. 
Oh, it's turned back by Stoudemire. You feeling the Pelicans nickname? I'm not usually for radical changes, but Charlotte should be the Hornets, right? That, they should be. And I don't know what New Orleans should have been, but the name fits the city. So I am feeling the Pelicans, and I'm feeling their team, too. I like Monty Williams as a head coach very much. You can tell how much and how uh, he's revered through the coaching ranks because he's an assistant coach with the USA basketball team for Mike Krzyzewski. So they have a great head coach in place. Now they go out and make a trade for Drew Holiday. They get Tyreek Evans, which I'm, I, I'm interested to see how that works. And then Anthony Davis coming off a, a very good rookie year, and Ryan Anderson who stretches the floor at the four position. They have some pieces, and I think Monty Williams is the guy to bring it together. The Pelicans could make a push for the playoffs. Try to say that three times fast, Mike. <laughs> Look, you can't give up layups like that. You've got to protect the basket and the paint at all costs. To Stoudemire. Gets to the rim and the bucket. Gordon forced to make the pass hits the three New Orleans it's one for two from long range count it that's another three he's got his long range game dialed in perfectly today dumps it off beautifully Anthony the jumper he gets it to go excellent teamwork when you play that good a defense and you contest the two-point J, you expect a good result there. The offense was just superior. The concentration and the follow-through, he stuck his shot. Anderson's working hard, trying to back down his opponent. To Felton. Nice movement around the perimeter. Great pass. Anthony the jumper puts it in he's three for three from the field give me good offense over good defense any day of the week well defended possession but better offense to holiday lets it go for two and drew holiday with a nice look sinks it when you have a mid-range game you have a catch and shoot game in that area of the floor it's almost impossible to defend. Stoudemire inside. Can't connect. Entry pass gets it inside. Strong defense, but he forces the jump hook. Tremendous job making it difficult to get to the basket. Throws down the dunk. Oh, that's a nice dunk right there. Drew Holiday with the ball. Looking to dominate down low. In the paint, flips it home. More players have to be able to do this. Finish over the top of shot blocking. to Stoudemire. Anthony forces it up. Shot no good. Drew Holiday with the ball here. Anderson jump shot. Knocks it down. Hey, give that guy credit. He made a big time shot against big time defense. Felton fade away for two. in for the first half, Ryan Anderson with 10 points and two rebounds.
We'll be right back with more Wednesday Night Basketball here on ESPN after the break. Hey, everyone. It's Jalen Rose, and I've got your EA Sports Halftime Report. These are the guys getting buckets for the New York Knicks. All right, back to the second half. I'll see you after the game. Welcome back to the New Orleans Arena for the second half. Along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Breen on hand. New Orleans is back in another nip and tuck battle. Jeff, for them to get a victory, what do they need to do? It just seems like every game we cover right now is close and down to the wire. This one looks no different, and because it's close, doesn't mean you play any different. You've just got to stick to your game plan, do what you do best, stay away from your non-strengths, and grind it out. The left-hander from Jermaine O'Neal. Listen, he did all he could right there. Came over, challenged the shot, the ball just went in the basket. Gordon. To Holiday. Denied by Smith. Lynn. To O'Neal. Oh, nice block. To Holiday. It'll be an interesting year this year for the Knicks, a team that you coached for many years as an assistant and then as a head coach. It really is a special place to coach. What, what do you remember most about being the head coach of the New York Knicks? Well, the, the thing that stands out most in my mind is walking out the tunnel. Um, to, to realize how many great coaches and players used to walk out at midcourt uh, from Willis Reed and then Clyde Frazier and, you know, Pat Riley and Red Holtzman and, and so many great, the great players that I got to coach there. Uh, particularly Patrick Ewing, Allen Houston down in Miami deciding game five in the playoff. Ball's rolling, it's up on the rim. If it rolls out, we lose. Maybe I'm fired, most likely I'm fired. If it goes in, we go on to, the, to uh, play in the finals against San Antonio. There's no place like coaching in New York. So it'll always have a special place in your heart. Oh, absolutely. I, today, when I still pick up the paper, but the first thing puts it down. What a play. O'Neal. Smith. Puts it up from downtown. And J.R. Smith with the pretty shot from three. Good job of concentration. Dead aim on the target and knocked it straight through. Evans. Holiday. Adjusting in the air. Draws the contact. Yep, it's a foul called against O'Neal. And he'll get to shoot free throws for the first time in the game. Man, I thought that was going to be an and one. Good strength just whipped out. Can't connect on the first free throw. And misses the second as well. Carmelo Anthony with the ball in control. Sweet dish. Anthony the jumper. No good. Really good job clogging the lane right there. To Gordon. Evans. Tied up, has to make that pass. They're all over him, gets off the hook shot. Trying isn't enough. You've got to close and get there and then finish it off by contesting the shot. Can't knock it down. Even great shooters are distracted by a great closeout and a hard contest. Holiday. 
Shut down, forced to make the pass. Adjust on the way to the rim, and he's fouled. And he'll head to the line for the first time tonight. Excellent offensive play right there. Contact, finish, just didn't get it to drop for the three-point play opportunity. Knocks down the first one. So he hits the first and misses the second. The Knicks in possession. Lynn against Holiday. To O'Neal. And it's a turnover. You can't teach that sense of timing. Look at that steal. He knows just the time to reach his hand in there and poke the ball away without foul. New York moves into the front court. O'Neal. Anthony the jumper. That's good. You need guys who can make shots under duress and pressure. That was a well-defended possession, but that man stuck it even against the best defense. To Holiday. For the layup, up and in. What a play from Drew Holiday. That's nice body control right there on that layup. Good finish. Lynn. Coming across. Anthony leaning back, puts it up, knocks it down. That's a two pointer, and it's a five point lead for New York. Tomorrow, Holiday fires again. Not that time. Smith against Morrow. To O'Neal. Blocked. Holiday. Morrow. It's blocked. Lynn to Anthony. Lynn. Smith against Morrow. He steps on the line. We're going the other way. And it looks like some substitution is going to be made now for the team. against Felton a minute and a half remaining in the third the Pelicans down by five and a foul is called and Anthony Parker will go to the line again for two more free throw attempts I love the way the NBA player can contort his body take contact and get the ball up to the basket even when being fouled hard He's able to hit the second after missing that first one. Felton bringing it up here. To Anthony. He puts it up. That shot won't go. Oftentimes it comes down to a simple action. Who wants the ball more? This guy absolutely dominating the rebounding department because of his... Oh, what a play! To Anthony. 
Falling away, puts it up, nails it. And it's a four-point lead for the Knicks. A great shooter's never even noticed the defenders. He thought he was out in the park shooting by himself. Evans. Holiday. Swatted away by O'Neal. To Smith. Felton against Holiday. To O'Neal. Fires for two. It'll count if it goes. And the third quarter comes to an end. New Orleans down by four. We'll be right back with more Wednesday night basketball here on ESPN after the break. Tough to get a feel for this one as we head to the fourth quarter. Jeff, what are you looking for? Mike, this is what most NBA games come down to. Hotly contested and close. The team that can withstand the heat and the pressure and continue to execute at both ends will come out victorious. Anderson misses the shot. To Evans. away for two. Misses that one. Lynn. For two. Cans the jumper. Six point lead for the Knicks. That's a big time shot right there. To Gordon. Great luck. They tip it and get the turnover. Oh, man, another horrendous turnover. This has just not been an efficient performance here today. Backing his man down. Gordon. To Anderson. Fires away for two. Stoudemire the rebound. Throws it back. Anderson. Takes another shot. Oh, he knocks it down. Give me good offense over good defense any day of the week. Well defended possession, but better offense. Unable to knock down the foul. Oh, what a play! When the ball's in the air, that's when the action really starts. If you're good, you're gonna be rooting your man out so you can get that offensive rebound and stick it in. With the runner, won't go. You contest, they miss. You don't, they score. It's really that simple. Excellent ball movement around the perimeter. To Stoudemire. Strong finish at the rim. To Gordon. Gets inside. And a foul. And the call will get him to the free throw line for the first time this evening. I really like this play right here. You're a great free throw shooter. Draw the contact and get two freebies.
Goes two for two at the line. Tightly guarded, gets off the jump hook. That's the mark of a great defensive team. Great closeout, great contest. That's the way to get it done. Oh, nice fake now to the basket. Up and in. I like that he didn't go for style points. Just nice, easy layup at the basket. Lynn against Holiday. Pulls back for the shot. Lynn's unable to knock it down. If he continues to play like this, where he's inefficient from a scoring standpoint, they have absolutely no chance to win this game. They rely on his points. Scores the goal and the foul. That's big time play right there. Finishing the shot through the contact and now goes to the free throw. Able to convert the free throw and he completes the three point play. to Anthony. Lynn's pass nearly intercepted. To the rim, goes up and puts it in. In close games, you cannot allow the dribble to break you down and get right to the basket. The individual defender has to do a good job, but the help defense is late as well. Anderson jump shot. Rebound handled by Smith. Hey, that's a tough shot, but I'd rather have a good player taking a bad shot than a bad player taking a good shot. Gets a good look. Can't hit the two. Fires away. Holiday's attempt won't go. To Lynn. The pass is deflected, and they get the turnover. Oh, rejected! To Smith. Anthony. Throws it down! Oh, that's a nice dunk right there. Gordon. Terrific entry pass, and he puts it down. Straight up and down, guaranteed his team two easy points. Huge possession right now to Anthony. Inside to the basket and lays it home off a great feed from Carmelo Anthony. You're not winning late in a close game playing that type of defense, allowing the ball to go in a direct line drive right at the basket. Blocked! Mass substitutions as both teams mix it up. Intercepted by Lynn! To Anthony. The shot is blocked! Holiday. To Evans. it up for two and Tyree Evans with some nice defense forcing the tough shot hey that's good offense got the ball in deep into the paint and they just missed oh that was sweet oh that's nice right there the finish at the rim with the nice dunk Smith Defense for the steal. Gordon. 
Gordon's pass almost picked off. Strong, it's good, and one. That's an inexcusable play. You do not foul softly. You have to foul hard and prevent the basket. To give up a basket and a free throw, that's bad. What a clutch play, and the game is tied. Could be the final play of the game. To O'Neal. To the rim. Let's it go. Knocks it down. It's a two-point game. Time running down here on the fourth, so we'll get a timeout. Returning here, late stages of the fourth. Goes for the tie. It's good. It's good. And we're headed to overtime. That's a big time shot. Knowing the time in the game, releasing it in time. Big time shot making. Better than overtime to Anthony. Tied up and has to pass. Thrown away. To Evans. A good look for two. It's good. The concentration to be able to shoot through the contested hand, that's a big time shot. Lynn against Holiday. Gets to the rim, unable to flip it home. Inside and converts the layup. Now, when you see. These type of plays in slow motion, only then do you realize how graceful and athletic they are. To Anderson. Looking for low post position. Up and in from Ryan Anderson. Look, you can't give up layups like that. You gotta protect the basket and the paint at all costs. What a bad pass, and it's stolen by Anderson. Forced to make the pass. To Anderson. For two. Won't go. To keep a team in sight, you've got to make sure you protect the basket and contest shots. away for two and drew holiday with an excellent challenge forcing the miss evans against anthony tied up has to make that pass lets it fly misses the two puts it down that's the surest way to get two points take it hard to the rim and finish it with a dunk The drive. Oh, pretty shot from Jeremy Lin. Beautiful concentration there to finish over the top of the defender without worrying about being fouled. Puts it up. That's good. A two pointer. Lin against Holiday. Attacks the basket. There's the whistle. 
Good job to draw the foul. And he'll head to the line with under two to go in overtime. Hey, you don't see strength like that very often. The way he got fouled just to get the ball up into the rim was a great achievement. Able to convert on both free throws. To Gordon. Great defense, huge time for a steal. Terrific feed to the basket. Beautiful move down low. No degree of difficulty right there. Simple basketball, good result. Holiday against Lynn. Swats that one away. The pass telegraphed and picked off by Gordon. Holiday. Anderson. Oh, rejected. To Lynn. Gets it off. Jump shot won't go. Gordon against Smith. Shut down, forced to make the pass. Looks to the post. For three. Holiday shot from behind the arc, won't go. To O'Neal. Smith against Gordon. Blocked! Gets inside, and he flips it up and in. And Monty Williams calls a 20. They'll get the timeout. You're down late in the game. One possession game. What you need to do is not waste time. You've got to catch it and attack the basket, and then take the first quality shot you get. And New York calls timeout. They want to talk it over. Some coaches think let them run the ball up the court and play spontaneously. Other coaches say call a timeout and organize. I like this timeout because it gives this team the best chance it will have to be organized and disciplined and create the best shot possible. little dump off. No doubt about it. Whistle blows a foul called against the Pelicans. That last foul means they're in the penalty, so it's time for free throws. First free throw, good. Comes through at the line. Now a two-point lead. Monty Williams calls time. They need to talk. against Lynn. The two defenders swarm. And this one is over as they lose to the Knicks by a score of 67.
to 65. Join us.